Okay, I'm redoing my allergy test post. If you've never gotten an allergy panel before, they put three panels on your back, protect it. You're not supposed to get it wet. You're not supposed to sweat. You leave it on for 48 hours and then you get your results the following day. So 72 hours, you can't like get it submerged in water or sweat, which is annoying because I want to go to hot yoga right now, but I can wait. And as soon as I left, 31 was itchy and I was like, this is going to be a long three days. And then it got better. Like I, I have no idea if I'm going to find out any information from this. Given my history, I probably won't. But these appointments are like three months out. So I booked it three months ago. I got a consultation. And then after that, they're like, it's a different building, different location that you'll need to get the panel put on at and those appointments are months out. So it was today and I was like, I don't want to push this again. I'll just get this over with, honestly. So if anyone has had experience with the panel test with rash symptoms specifically, please let me know because when I saw an allergist three months ago for the first time, he's like, I don't think that rash is contact dermatitis. Doesn't look like it, like you're in the wrong place. And I was like, not for nothing. Many people have told me I'm in the wrong place. So how do you know this is the wrong, the wrong, wrong place? So yeah, I'm like used to having the sticker on my back now, but you can't really stretch. It's kind of um, restricting. Part two in three days with my results.